this is really prevalent for anyone who's a beginner, is taking small steps. So when you're first starting out, it can be so overwhelming. You might not know what to do. Uh, you know, you see this workout routine online, you see that workout routine, you see this diet, should, should I do the diet my friend's doing? Uh, should I try out this thing I saw online? You know, what do I do? There's so many things out there. Uh, so when you're first starting out on your fitness journey as a beginner, you need to be clear on why you are starting. You need to be clear on why you're starting. Are you starting maybe because you're a little insecure with how your body looks? Are you starting because you want to feel a little bit better in your daily life? Are you starting because you want to prove to yourself that you can stick with something? You want to prove to yourself that you can be determined and actually stick with something long term that will allow you to achieve the best fitness goals for yourself. The reason why this is so crucial and so important is because this why and understanding these specific things will give you the motivation that you need when you feel like quitting. There's going to be days, there will be a lot of days where you don't feel like going to the gym, eating healthy, but grounding yourself really close to that reason why you started, why you're getting into fitness to begin with as a beginner can give you that motivation on days when it's not so easy. And you gotta have a clear goal. And when I say clear goal, you might be overwhelmed to thinking, I have no idea, I just wanna, I just wanna be fit, I just wanna be fit. Um, think about what being fit is, right? Is being fit for you, losing one pant size, is being fit for you, running your first 5K without stopping, is being fit, just being able to play with your kids without stopping. It doesn't need to be something that's super, super uh, kind of out there and like a crazy goal. It just needs to be something that you can lean towards, that you can navigate towards, and that you can use as kind of a stepping stone towards. Because if you don't have a goal, if you don't have any frame of reference in why you're doing it, guess what? you're also going to be led astray. You're gonna be uh, seeing other people doing this crazy workout. You're gonna be seeing other people doing this crazy fad diet. And then you're gonna think, oh, I should try that, I should try that. But if you simply remind yourself, eh, I'm just doing this because I wanna be fit to play with my kids. And the way I do that is by following a good diet, eating well for the most part, two to three workouts a week, I'll be good to go. I don't need to follow crazy stuff. I don't need to get uh, put off track by all these other external things, right? I'm focused directly on my goal as a beginner. I am focused on getting those things. And then the way I like to look at this is once you have a goal, once you have a specific fitness goal, you look at small things that you can do to achieve that goal. And I would literally just pick one fitness goal to start. So uh, let's say you're doing running your first 5K without stopping, that's your goal. And how you would then look at this is what are some small things that you can do to get to that goal of doing the 5K without stopping? Well, of course, you're gonna need to be doing some workouts, right? You're gonna need to be um, running maybe at least two to three times a week. When you're first starting out, maybe you're just doing walking two to three times a week. That's a small step. You're gonna need to be eating well. You're gonna need to be focusing on good nutrition. So uh, maybe trying to eat um, two more servings of vegetables every single day, because that's gonna help you recover. That's gonna help you feel better. You need to be hydrated. So maybe you're gonna focus a little more on drinking one glass of water with every meal. That's gonna help you on your overall weight loss goals. Uh, excuse me, not weight loss goals, the 5K goals. Um, but what are some small things that you can do to reach your goals? And realistically, you're just picking one to three of these things. You're trying to follow them closely and always reminding yourself that you might fail. That's okay. You just simply need to be ready to pivot when that time comes. So. Um, maybe you realize that when you started your original fitness goal, it was way too much for you to fully cut out soda. So instead of cutting out soda completely, maybe you're just drinking three sodas a week instead of a soda every single day. 
So that can be a way you can pivot so then ultimately you're not failing as much because when you fail, this can lead to a lot of different things. It makes you basically not focus on your goals as much. It can lead to some anxiety, it demotivates you, and it's extremely distracting as well. So all of those things kind of tied up in a bow and put together usually lead a lot of people to not achieving the best fitness results for themselves. And these things aren't crazy. You know, I'm not reinventing the wheel here, but you're trying to break down where you want to be and where you are trying to go and then looking at what are very small things that I can do consistently over time that are going to lead me to that. Super simple, um, but if you think about it, from the example, once again, before we go on to this next portion, um, also to give this video a like if you're getting any new ideas and some motivation to hit your fitness goals this year. Um, if you think about the idea of running a 5K without stopping and your initial goal is to just run one mile every single week, one mile every single week, that's all you do. Over 52 weeks, you ran 52 miles that entire year. That is insane. That is awesome. And you might be thinking when you first start out on that goal, what's running one mile a week really going to do for me? I'm doing nothing else the rest of the week. 52 miles at the end of the week. That's compounding. That builds. You're going to feel better. You're going to want to do more. All of these things will build on each other over time which is what will get you to that dream body, that dream fitness level that you want, that you desire for yourself.